Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Ah, you bastard! I'd rather throw myself to the tracks than run Bertha another mile for that dirty ball bag. Okay, look. <laughs> He's left the station. Mel! Hello, fancy pants. And who might you I'm Evie be? Fry, and this is my brother, Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I won't bail your heat. You pay better than scraps? Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. Then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha, lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hideout on the rails? What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now, I would like to follow up a lead on... Jacob? Is this serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. I believe I know someone who can help with that. I knew you would, Greeny. You know, a mite of money goes a mickle bit in this city. Think of the power of good you can do with the purse you bring. You talk of restoring London. Well, now's your chance. That there map shows who to speak to. Old friends, if you will. Give him a whiff of that sterling, and maybe you can save us all from having to lay down our knife and fork afore we're ready. Thank you. 
on? Looks like a mess in the jungle. So <laughs> what you got? Oh, blast them. Alec, whatever is the matter? I have been intercepting nothing but poppycock propaganda about soothing, syrup and whatnot. No, I swear to high heavens, if Starrick's monopoly continues... Alec, I beg your pardon. These are friends of mine. 
Evie Fry, and her brother, Jacob. Oh, um, Alexander Graham Bell. Linguist, inventor, and technical expert. Alec, I have something of a favor to ask you. Can you fix this? Oh, looks like the casing is cracked. Oh, comes apart. <laughs> I see. Could have used one of these to fit my fuses on top of Big Ben. Alec is installing a new telegraph line for our Free Press Association. To combat the Static Telegraph Company. Now, if I can mend the fuses connecting independent lines from Big Ben, Staric will be weakened. Only we are somewhat at a handicap. And there. Oh, I've removed the mechanism, so it may work with your bracer. I'll put it to use immediately. <laughs> Jacob, wait. Mr. Bell, allow me to help you with your fuses. Oh, you will not find me too proud to accept Miss Fry. Oh, uh, we can use my carriage if you'd be so good as to hold the reins, though. I'll take that. Um, I, I can help you. Oh, Miss Fry, I am so glad you could assist me. You really ought to be here by now. Come on. So, Mr. Bell, what inventions are you concocting? I intend to develop a phonetic telegraph that does not just convey dots and dashes, Miss Fry, but a human voice. Phonetic telegraph? Hmm. Sounds a bit of a mouthful. You could just call it a telephone. Telephone? <laughs> How bizarre. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, the press has become entirely dependent on the Static Telegraph Company. Which is why Mr. Green has asked you to set up a free line. Yes. What is more, other small independent companies have had their lines sabotaged. And they have no the means of finding any broken fuses, which are... To be found on top of Big Ben. Correct. Especially as one needs a special government pass to get through the guards. They will not be a problem. I'll repair the fuses. set.
lovely view.
should do it. Thank you very much, Miss Fry. I will now be able to continue with the installation of the new line. If there's anything else I can do to help... But certainly. Please do come and visit. Oh, uh, I was toying with this device and have noted down the formula for you. It, it's not perfect yet, but by golly, it works.
Oh, Miss Fry, uh, I was just showing Jacob the first message was received via the mended lines. Oh, uh, you can keep the rope launcher, by the way. Um, we've managed to procure another one for your brother. Excellent work. Thank you again. You're very welcome, Mr. Bell. We can now defend the principle of impartial news and free speech. Free is fair, but free and brief is far better. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, Fry, such caustic wit. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we must depart. <laughs> oh, uh, good fortune to you both. Uh, call on me at uh, any time. Now that we've finished with that distraction... Who is that? Oh, you mean... you don't know? Beautiful train you got here. Miss McBean was just telling me all about her. Name's Ned. How do you do? I won't take up more of your time. Uh, if you want to learn a thing or two about the finest transit systems in the world, you can find me at this address. Let us return to locating the Peace of Eden. We need to reclaim London from Staric. Who are my targets? It's not time for that yet. I didn't come to London to hunt curios. First understand the dance, only then become the dancer. Oh, so you're taking over where father left off. Someone has to. Evie, finding the precursor artifact will give us an insight into what the Templars intend. Jacob, I have information about Staric's associates that should be of use to you. Here. This soothing syrup has become the only medicine available in Lambeth. It bears the Templar Grandmaster's name. About time for a visit to the doctor. I don't see that cure arriving any time soon. And what exactly will you be doing, might I ask? You know very well. Tracking down the Peace of Eden. Enjoy your studies. I'll be out killing Templars.
you're not guilty. Beg your pardon. You, you're the one. I assure you we've never met. Is this a prize fighting ring? You bet your eyes and ears it is, my lord. My lady. The name's Robert Toppy. Best bookie in all of London at your disposal. Well, second best, but my mum says Don's a bit of a nincompoop. Anyhow, I can show you a vast array of exciting things, from prize fights to carriage races. I think we can afford to spend a little time here. Going all by myself. That's all I have time for now, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.